Here's how to diagnose and install an oxygen sensor on your car. As you can see when we start it up, we've got a check engine light for P0141, which is a failure in the Bank 1 Sensor 2 oxygen sensor. On the straight 6 Toyota 2JZ engine, this is the Bank 1 manifold, and this is Sensor 1, which is before the catalytic converter. The sensor we're after is Sensor 2, which is after the catalytic converter, this one right here. To get a clear view, I'm just going to remove the airbox from the car, and I'm going to remove the intake tube. Here's a closer look at Sensor 2 on Bank 1. This here is where it connects to. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this electrical connector, squeezing on the tab and removing it. Before I remove the sensor, I'm just going to give it a good soaking with some penetrating oil and let it soak for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to release the oxygen sensor wiring harness from these clips. I'm going to be using a sensor removal tool to remove the oxygen sensor. It's just a regular deep socket with a slot in it here to clear the wire when you put it on and turn it. So I'm just going to install that socket onto the O2 sensor, put in the ratchet, Okay, I've got a really long cheater pipe on the ratchet here. I'm just going to attempt to break this loose. I was able to remove the old oxygen sensor. It did take quite a lot of work to turn out. As you can see, the old sensor is quite black and worn out. To test the old oxygen sensor, I'm going to be measuring the resistance between these two black wires on the oxygen sensor. As you can see, I don't have any resistance registering on the multimeter that indicates a broken heater circuit in the oxygen sensor. Here's a replacement sensor, it's a Denso unit which is OEM to this car, part number 2344626. This here is what the replacement sensor looks like, it's a direct plug and play fit for the old sensor. Now as a comparison, here's the new sensor, we've got the two black wires here, I'm going to measure the resistance between them. As you can see it's about 16 ohms which is within spec. Now if your thread's stripped out in your manifold or they're really rusty you might want to run a thread chaser in there before installing this new sensor make sure it gets in there nice and tight. Make sure you apply a little bit of anti-seize to the threads before installing it so we don't have any problems removing it anytime. Next I'm going to install the new oxygen sensor into the car making sure I don't damage this head here when installing it. I'm just going to snug down the new sensor until it's nice and tight. Next I'm going to run the new sensors wire through these hoops Tighten them up. Next I'm going to replace the air intake going to the throttle body. Next I'm going to replace the air box. To clear the check engine light I'm just going to pull the battery terminal for a few minutes and let the ECU reset. Then I'm going to install the battery terminal and tighten that up. Finally you're going to want to take the car for a nice long test drive to make sure the check engine light stays off.